Some of the best trout water is lined with heavy bush that hides prime lies of perfect depth, flow, overhead cover, and great feeding lanes. No doubt that big trout that lives there feels quite safe. These are often backwaters, flats on smaller streams, or spring creeks. Stealth is required, you're forced to remain out of the water, and you'll need longer leaders to dampen impact on the clear water commonly found here. It's a rough combination of having to remain on shore, yet surrounded by tall willow and alder while using 14 to 16 foot leaders. Most people make the mistake of trying to do too much on their casts. People think that you have to go high, high, high. I'm surrounded by alders. Well, look at this. Elbows right here, right? Elbows there. I'm gonna just kind of flip it forward, up to one o'clock, and out. You see how far that went? I'm standing right here. I'm not doing anything other than a roll up, one o'clock, pause. I'm 80% of the way to, across the creek just with that little bit of energy. And it doesn't take anything. Uh, my arm's not out like this. So the second I come up like this, well, that, well, suddenly I'm, I'm that's pointing at all those tops of the alders. So, that's why I just say, okay, just kind of do a little simple roll, up to one o'clock, right across the creek. Oh, geez, I'm stuck on those sticks over there. That's the point, and that's how effortless that can be. It will shoot, and you've got control, yep. and it looked like you were shooting probably easily 20 feet of... I blood. just literally hit the sticks right across the creek, right? Yeah. With that's that exactly. little energy. Yep. One just rose down below the willow at the bottom end, so... The real long leader challenge is when the bush immediately around you is substantially taller than you. A roll cast simply will not work in that scenario on light trout rods, especially with a bushy dry or dropper. The upper arm remains fixed, but now it's raised to horizontal at your shoulder in order to give the rod tip and casting trajectory height. The forearm and wrist continue to exactly as they did before, putting a small amount of deliberate energy into fine motion. The line speed energy is going to be difficult to transfer, so the lift to one o'clock has to be fast, the stop absolute. Because of water clarity and habitat intrusion, our goal is to get that fly in the water with one, maybe two false casts, shooting out to lay straight. Back. Yeah. Awesome, Dave. A fixed arm steeple cast is likely your only option when dealing with short amounts of fly line on a long leader. It's an extremely effective tool when you get lost in willow and alder jungles. 